welcome back everyone so in this video i will be sharing 10 windows settings that you should change right now in 2023 so if you have recently bought any new laptop or pc even if you are an old user of windows then you should change these settings right now because this will be improving your windows computer performance and many of these settings will be very helpful for you in the future so let's quickly get started on number one that we have is the restore point now every windows users are recommended to create a restore point because many time in future if you have any kind of problem with the windows computer then you can revert the action or you can restore the computer back to that particular stage when the computer was working fine all right so for that you will have to click on your windows search type restore you will be getting create a restore point click on it a new box will be popping up now here at the bottom you will find to create a restore point first enable protection so in case if your this create option has not been highlighted then you have to click on configure and here you have to enable turn on system protection then click on apply click on ok the create option will now be highlighted click on it and now you can rename this like by any name or date so that you can quickly identify that when exactly you created this restore point so i will give today date so that i can identify when exactly i created then i will click on create and then within few seconds the restore point will be created all right the next setting that we should apply is creating a local account on your computer now many people just get logged in with a microsoft account and they don't have any kind of extra local account so additionally it's always recommended that you should have a local account with the admin right so that sometime if your user account is not working then you can log in with a different user account and even there are many uses of having a local account so it's very simple just click on your windows search type netplwiz hit the enter key you will be getting this kind of page here you have to click on add now it will ask you to add a microsoft account but we don't have to do that so click here at the bottom that says sign in with a microsoft account not recommended then here choose local account now here you have to give a local account name once you are done click on next this local account will be created now and the next time if you want to log in with this local account click on this windows icon click on the profile picture and your another account will be listed here okay so this is very useful and you should create this local account right now if you have not created so far okay so the next setting is related to windows update so what you will have to do and make a right click on the windows icon then from the suggestion click on settings in the setting from the left hand menu option scroll down click on windows update now this is especially for the people who do regular update and keep their windows update enabled now here you get an option under advanced options so click on it and this is the one that i'm talking about get me up to date now basically what happened that whenever the windows update is completed or it's been ready it automatically go for a restart and we don't want that because uh, many time you are doing some important work like working on any kind of sheet working on word document or doing any other kind of work then it automatically restart your computer so you will have to disable this option and then below only you get another option that says notify me when a restart is required to finish updating and you have to enable this option now once you have made this setting this will be really helpful for you in the future whenever the update will be started all right so let's move with the next one that we have the right power plan now every windows 11 users must choose the right power plan depending that what kind of work they do on their computer okay so for that uh, you have to click on your windows search type power cfg dot cpl hit the enter key and now here you'll find all kind of your power plan now as i said depending that what kind of work you do let's say if you are a gamer you do gaming on your computer then it's recommended that you should go with the high performance power plan but if you don't do the gaming and you are on a laptop and you do basic work then i would recommend you to go with the power saver so that you can have the maximum battery backup but if you think that you're in the middle of both these things then you can go with the balanced one okay so this is another very important setting that you should change right now now the next setting is related to our browser 
and which is syncing your data now this setting is very important for the people who use multiple devices and this is even very useful when accidentally your computer get formatted or you get a new device then what will be the benefit that this syncing will get all your saved password all your saved data even you are working on multiple devices okay this is very important and you should do it right now so depending whichever browser you use like i am using google chrome so i have to click on it then on the right hand top you will find the profile picture click on it then click on turn on sync now you have to log in with the same google account which is your primary account and you use in almost all your devices okay so you just logged in and after that whatever work you do on this device on your browser all the data and everything will be saved even you logged in with a, another device and now the next setting is related to the bloatware like many of the application that comes pre-built with windows 11 and recently after a new update now you can remove all such application that you don't use so click on your windows icon then click on all apps now here you will find all kind of default application pre-built application on your computer like calculator calendar uh, clip jam kotana a uh, get help get started mail map media player uh, microsoft edge microsoft store microsoft team as majority of the people they don't use all these pre-built application so it's better that you should remove it from your computer so that your computer can give you more best performance so let's say i don't want to use microsoft team so you will have to make a right click on it and choose uninstall all right similarly if you are not using the map option then again you can make a right click on it and uninstall many people don't use this uh, video editor like clip jam you can also make a right click on it and uninstall it okay so once you will remove all such bloatware that you don't use you'll notice a great performance a great change on your computer now next we also need to disable the fast startup now many people go with this option so that their computer can quickly shut down but they don't know the problem that occurred because of this fast startup now let me give you a quick summary whenever you enable the fast startup option and you shut down your computer it doesn't closes all the application running due to which you may face some kind of problem when you turn on the computer so it's always recommended that you should disable the fast startup and wait for a few extra second to computer get shut down at least you will not be having any kind of problem so what you will have to do click on your windows search again type power cfg dot cpl hit the enter key now here from the left in menu option click on choose what the power button does and now i'm using a virtual machine so i'm not getting this uh, fast shutdown option but in the shutdown setting you will be getting fast startup option so you have to click on change setting that are currently unavailable and then you will have to uncheck that option of fast startup uncheck it click on save changes and then you can close it and now next we also need to disable the windows privacy notifications that basically consume a lot of resources and slow down the performance of the computer so if you want the best performance then what you will have to do right click on the windows icon click on settings from the left in menu option click on privacy and security now here you will find all kind of your windows permission and the app permission so first in the windows permission click on general and disable all these options you really don't need it you can disable it then go back click on speech you can disable it inking and typing personalization you don't need it disable it then go back diagnostic and feedback now this is something related to windows update but uh, you can disable it as of now in future if something is required like if you want to join windows inside a program then it might ask you to enable it but that period of time you can quickly enable it so as of now you can disable it then we have activity history you can disable it and then if you scroll down to the app permission so let's say if you don't use the location camera microphone voice activation any one of them then you can also disable the permission for these applications and then come below you will find phone call now majority of the people they don't use call history phone call messaging radios 
and they occupy a lot of resources. So it's a better choice that you should go ahead and disable the notifications for them. All right, now next we also need to disable the startup application that come along with your computer that slow down the booting time and even it slow down the computer performance. So for that, right click on the Windows icon. From the suggestion, click on Task Manager. In the Task Manager, you will be getting an option of a startup app. Click on it. Now here, look for any kind of third party applications like Steam, Discord, Skype, Launcher, any kind of browser, OneDrive, you will have to disable them. So right click on it, choose disable Microsoft Edge. I don't want that it should come with the computer. So disable it, OneDrive, disable it. So now what will happen? These applications will not start along with the computer and you can manually open it whenever you want to. Now you don't have to disable any kind of file related to audio, Wi-Fi or antivirus. Rest, any third party application, you can disable it. Now the last one that you have is very important and this setting can save you with many kind of hackers. Now you have seen recently many kind of email coming, many kind of notification, many kind of uh, phishing website. They ask you to download anything and even you go ahead and download it because you're not aware of the exact extension that you have downloaded. All right. So what you will have to do, bring up your file explorer. Okay. So finally, what you will have to do, you need to click on the three dot then click on options in the option from the top menu option click on view and here you get an option of hidden file and folder so you always need to select this to show hidden files folder and drives then below you get hide extension for known file type make sure this option has been unchecked then click on apply and click on ok so now you will see all kind of file along with their extension so that you can identify that what kind of file you have downloaded and what kind of file you are going to install so that's all guys for today hopefully these all 10 settings you will surely apply by today and you found this video helpful and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye